All right, guys. So uh, I went over the weekend to the Nike outlet and uh, managed to grab a few pairs for a pretty good price, I think. Um, so let me show what I got. Um, as you can see, regular Nike box, the new style that is kind of red with a big logo. And uh, the model is the AirTag Challenge Horachi. In the black, atomic orange, atomic vault, and CRT purple. And I don't know what the CRT is, but I guess something that I don't know. <laughs> so the retail price for these originally was 130. Um, they were listed as um, 89, 99, but then there was additional 20% off on top of that, so they came out around 70 dollars, I think. Um, when these originally uh, came out earlier this year, and I saw the pictures before that along with the original colorway. Um, I, I actually liked them a lot. Um, I did not, was not sure how they're going to look uh, in person, but uh, you know, seeing them then in person, uh, I like them even more. I think uh, the colors are pretty vibrant and uh, kind of reminiscent of what uh, actually Andre Agassi would have worn back in the day. But again, you know, the price of 130 was definitely something I'm looking forward to uh, spent. So waiting is always pays off, especially on non-hyped uh, models. And um, seeing these on the outlet this weekend, I was like, yep, definitely had to grab them, try them on actually. Uh, a great experience uh, for a change to try your shoes on before you buy them and make sure they fit and um, feel comfortable and they actually do. Um, I actually remember when the model came out back in the day, it was, uh, you know, 1990 or 90, uh, 1991, I think around that time, and uh, the uh, original colorway with the white and green that he wore, by the way, I always liked his shoes, uh, one of my friends uh, growing up was crazy about him, always had his models, so uh, they were they were pretty amazing, and uh, this model always been really nice in my uh, opinion. And they finally retro them in sort of uh, proper way, uh, so to speak. Uh, actually, if I see the, the original colorway sometime in the future for a similar price or lower, I definitely would, uh, would try to buy them. So this is not original colorway, but uh, colors are, I mean, probably the camera does not does the justice, but uh, they're very vibrant, um, kind of very popping, and I definitely like that. So, um, this speckled purple with the texture around the heel and this atomic orange they're calling it's it's definitely uh, pretty amazing it's uh, kind of glowing it's so vibrant uh, on on the other hand the, the Dura book they used on this pair it's it's absolutely amazing I like it a lot I think if if they used a similar uh, Dura book on all the Jordan retros that are black predominantly black upper they will have a huge success because this is a nice material, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the cushioning setup back in the day was Air Max unit on the heel, encapsulated in the forefoot. Um, I believe it's still the same in this retro as well. Um, definitely, I can feel it in the heel, forefoot. It's always um, hard to feel unless you really break them down further down the line. Uh, the People, some of you know or some of not, the whole concept of the Harachi is having this um, all inner booty. A lot of those kicks were made like that. Um, in a similar matter, um, you know, Tinker came up with this idea back in the day when he was, I think, in vacation in Mexico and he was, uh, you know, Harachi, I think, in, in Spanish is sandal, so to speak, uh, translation roughly. So he wanted to make something that it's easy to slip on and kind of look you know be lighter and look this way so this inner booty is uh, it's a good idea always love that uh, several jordan more models have that as well as you know uh, the the seven the eights uh, the nine um it was it was a thing back in the day um definitely um you can wear them even without lacing them especially if you're you know the correct sizing uh, eight and a half for me in these it's definitely uh, accurate and, and and proper uh 
and when you put them on, they're kind of you know hug you, hug your foot, and it's it's a nice feeling. Um, pretty pretty well padded. Uh, the texture of the inner liner is um, kind of like this rough material that actually um, sort of grips your sock and doesn't allow it to flip too much. You know, get out of the shoe. Uh, the production dates on these are. Uh, 8 14 13 to 10 11 13 uh, so a year ago but in fact they they released early uh, this year so uh, that's something normal uh, just the swoosh on the insole I think back in the day there was a different writing here I think it was Nike here uh, but um, that's what I remember at least other than that the outsole, as you can see, is so so vi vibrant with that atomic orange. It's it's popping really nice. Uh, this uh, pattern of the um, herringbone is something very strange, kind of grippy and sticky. So I'm only assuming if anybody wants to bow in these, they can probably do it, uh, since it's very similar to what the basketball shoes had back in the day. Uh, this outsole is widely widely used, at least the, the design and the pattern by, by Nike around that time in uh, several different models. Um, always liked this uh, Nike Air and Boast uh, sort of uh, texture here on the heel without stitching or anything like that, sort of hitting, hidden Nike Air. Um, some of you might know that actually uh, these early models and um, early 90 models for for Andre Agassi also uh, missed were missing swooshes around the upper so you know no lateral medial sides the only you can see it's you know this embossed, embossed in uh, Nike here on the hill which is um, not that visible so similar to kind of what um, they did for for the Jordan line uh, veering away from uh, the swoosh uh, my my all-time favorite Agassi shoe actually is the Tech Challenge uh, three quarters. Uh, some of you might have seen it, uh, you know Tech Challenge three slash four uh, three quarters. These were just amazing design, very similar to these ones, but then right around the heel area here, it is totally different. Um, texture and very graphical colorful it was very uh, interesting and, and outgoing back in the day when they came out I think they share the same um, midsole and outsole setup but the upper design was a little bit different uh, again they didn't have a swoosh they only had a, a similar embossed style Nike just written right here um, with, with no swoosh at all uh, and very similar TPU cup around the hill with all that graphic, but yeah, it was it was an amazing model. Uh, so I will definitely recommend these uh, for any of you guys that like the colors. I, I definitely like them, especially you put on feet. They they look really nice. Uh, and you know, if you find them for this price, around six to seventy dollars, you just can't go wrong. They're very comfortable, uh, very reminiscent to the old days, and um, look look pretty nice, in my opinion. Um, if you like the Harachi style shoes uh, from back in the old days, and you still remember them, or you just like the colors, I mean, don't don't hesitate to grab a pair. I I definitely. I'm happy of, of my purchase and uh, intend to wear them with pleasure. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for all your support. Until next time, uh, stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaker news, reviews, and history articles. And you have a wonderful day.